know how many blacks in America have been lost to Islam? Adlers, blacksmiths, and he sets a constant precedent for the development of a higher social organization. Because of the stability of the black Jewish culture, the Jews were not absorbed into the autochonous population. In fact, the Jews absorbed some of the native tribes. The Jews made use of every opportunity. They were an industrious and skillful people. In the Jewish Ghanaian states were found kings, princes, governors, generals, secretaries, treasurers, revenue agents, judges, architects, engineers, doctors, historians, language interpreters, mathematicians, jewelers, sculptors, masons, carpenters, painters of art, goldsmiths. There were leather workers, potters, armorers, saddlers, blacksmiths, agriculturists. Do you think the indigenous black resented the regal, negro, nomadic class of the house of Judah? And do you think they wanted to get paid by Islam? And do you think Islam wanted to get paid by the Ashkenazi Jewish ship merchants? And then you get to your transatlantic slave movement. But don't start at the ships on the west coast of Africa. That's all you're going to get in your democratic American public re-education system. And it just troubles me. Even blacks in this country aren't educated enough to go further back. Do you know how many blacks in America have been lost to Islam? It's outrageous. That's not your tribe. Your tribe is Judah. Muhammad's tribe enslaved you. Why would you convert to Muhammad's tribe when you're of King David's tribe? Don't convert to the tribe that enslaved you and then sold you to Ashkenazi. Ship merchants. More black. Negroes have been lost to Islam in the 20th century than any other believing, Bible-believing group. It's outrageous because they don't want you to know who you really are and what tribe you're from. But you're not from Muhammad's tribe. 